In this video we share Father Michel Rodriguez, The Warning, and Illumination of Conscience. Father Michel Rodriguez, exorcist, abbot, and founder of the New Order, the Apostolic Fraternity of St. Benedict Joseph Labry, whom Our Lady has named the Apostle of the End Times, shares invaluable information about the tribulation and refuges where many of God's children will be guided to live for a period of time before the era of peace. Father Michel claims the Father in Heaven speaks to him since he was very young. He has had visions of the near future. He speaks of the warning, the day of miraculous signs, the One World Order, nuclear events, North Korea and Iran. He claims some kind of events would start in the fall of 2020. The Father told me that the 21st century is his century. After the warning, no one left on earth will be able to say that God does not exist. When the warning comes, everyone will recognize Christ, and they will also recognize his body, and the body of Christ is the Catholic Church. They will know that they have to come back to him in the way that, he, will show them. Priests will also be there to welcome them. We will not be there to judge them. At that point, everyone will want to serve the Lord. Everyone can come back to the church, together for this time that was chosen by the Father, himself. We will be there to serve the Lord. After the illumination of conscience, every person on earth will see their sins, humanity will be granted an unparalleled gift, a period of repentance lasting about six and a half weeks when the devil will not have the power to act. This means all human beings will have their complete free will to make a decision for or against the Lord. The devil will not bind our will and fight against us. The first two and a half weeks, in particular, will be extremely important, for the devil will not return at that time, but our habits will, and people will be harder to convert. And all who have received the desire for him, the sense that they need his salvation, will be marked on their forehead with a luminous cross by their guardian angel. There will be a miraculous sign given to the world, sometime after the warning. It will be in Garabandal, Spain, at the Pines where, Mary, first appeared there. At the same time, it will be seen in Medjugorje, which has been promised also. The sign will be able to be seen, and projected on the television. This will occur at the beginning of the tribulation. So, we are all called to be ready, ready to help our brothers and sisters when this six and half week period comes, ready to guide them to the church, where they will find their peace of heart, their happiness with the Lord. We are all called to be disciples of Christ. You must talk, you must stand, you must advise. Yes. When the devil returns after six and a half weeks, he will disseminate a message to the world through the media, cell phones, TVs, etc. The message is this, a collective illusion happened on this date. Our scientists have analyzed this and found it occurred at the same time that a solar flare from the sun was released into the universe. It was so powerful that it affected the minds of the people on earth, giving everyone a collective illusion. The devil fools us even now through the new priests of the world, television journalists who want you to think, what they think, so they present only the news that is their opinion. They twist the truth and you are hypnotized, manipulated into believing them. There is a one world order comprised of people who call themselves the Illuminati and worship Satan. They have puppets now in positions of power in every country, whom they oblige to worship Satan with them. Their second arm is international banking elites, who decide which country's money will be devalued, causing bankruptcy, and which currencies will thrive. This is not decided within a country, but outside of it. The third arm of the Illuminati is the three major satanic cults in the world, the cult of Egypt, the cult of Europe, and the Wicca cult, which is in America. The group that works under them is the Masons. The One World Order is preparing military core groups in different countries, who will be disciples of Satan, linked directly to them. When the Devil's power returns after the warning, after six and a half weeks, 
they will emerge as the one world government. Even now, their military police force is in place, awaiting orders. You have to know that. We will see a repetition of what happened in the Second World War, but this time, with universal action. Hitler began in Germany and then conquered other countries. Now, Satan has no more time. He will start a nuclear war that will be global, the Third World War his war against all of humanity. The devil will kill one-third of humanity in this war, and through plagues and abortion, just as one-third of the angels were cast out of heaven into hell. Seven nuclear missiles will be permitted to strike the United States as a result of its abominations. Many nuclear missiles will be deflected by the hand of God because America prays the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I was told this by the Eternal Father. On August 15, 2018, I was standing near the entrance of the church, welcoming people who were coming to celebrate the joyful event of the bishop robing the fraternity of St. Benedict Joseph Labro, with our new vestments. I was preparing for the celebration with all our members because the bishop had approved everything through the church. The vestments were the first ones we received for the order. The bishop blessed the vestments, and he gave me the first one. This is the same ceremony in which I heard Our Lady say, I call the Apostle of the End Times, as the bishop placed the robe on me. As people were entering the church, I suddenly received a vision of the war to come. It was a nuclear war, but I didn't understand this at first. I saw so much destruction, fire and bombs and many people dying, some already dead. Every dead body I saw there was burned, their flesh was burned. It was really big. Not a little war, I assure you. It was very destructive. And I started to ask prayer for that everywhere. And I know that the war will come from two countries, one is Korea, and the other is Iran. They will come together to face the United States of America. I felt so troubled by this that I started to cry and had to return to the sacristy. There, two more visions came. I could see people's flesh dripping like water from their bodies. This was so terrifying that I said, Lord, please stop this. I have to be with my people to welcome them with joy today, and I'm just crying now. I cannot. The father also said that through prayer the war could be diminished but not avoided. This is what I have from the Lord. The war was supposed to have begun already, but it was postponed through prayer, through the rosary. This is important because people's prayers have been heard. He described the events that will happen in graphic detail and he was clear that this will all happen soon. Father Michel has been to heaven, and was blessed to be handed the child Jesus by Saint Joseph. When he questioned the fact that he is not worthy, the Immaculate Virgin Mary said to him you hold my son at every mass do you not? He said that we should have a three-month supply of food in our home. He said we must consecrate our home to the Holy Family. He said this will allow your home to be a temporary refuge until the Holy Spirit guides you to a permanent refuge. All you need will be provided at the refuges that you will be guided to if one surrenders to God. He also said a soul must go to confession at least once a month to be prepared. He said that after the warning, when we will see Jesus on the cross in the sky with rays coming from his sacred wound that blood and water gushed forth as a font of mercy for us, that every soul will encounter our blessed Lord. He said small tongues of fire will land on every soul during this process which will last about 15 minutes. Every soul will see their life sins that have not been confessed. If a soul is currently on its way to purgatory, hell or heaven they will experience this. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.